Now I'm going to show you how you can very quickly create pages in which you can place a lot of text. And this is, what we're going to do is use the, what's called the auto flowing text feature. Um, what we, what you learned before, if you watch that video, uh, it was where you could use the placement gun and create new text boxes as you go or create or just place text into text frames that you already had created uh, and it would continue the text on. That's called semi auto flow because you still had to do some kind of manual work to place it in text box or create new text boxes. And I'm going to show you a way that you don't have to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can either put columns on your master or you can put columns on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and just select the right page of my A master, which is what I have applied to everything here. And I'm going to go up to layout margins and columns and pick that and here I can tell it how many columns I want. So the default is one, one big column. Whoops, I don't want seven. I don't know how that happened. Alright, I want two. So now I have two columns and my gutter is that area in between and I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger so it's 0.25 and I like that. I have my um, preview button selected uh, I also have, I can check this if I want to be able to change the layout, um, the columns in the actual pages, but I'm not going to check that. And I'm going to say OK. And so now you can see one page has columns and the other one doesn't. One, these are master pages. So let's go down to a spread in the actual document. So now you can see I'm actually, even though it looks identical to what I was looking at, I'm actually in the document now page two and three and you can see again the left page has the columns the right page doesn't because the master that's how the master was set but what if we want to add columns over here well we can do that same way layout margins and columns and then uh, it's a little tricky you know, the little arrows don't work but you can manually type things in so I can say two there and I'm gonna do the same thing um, so there we go. So now I have columns in either, and I can use these either one of these. Um, however, if I want to auto flow, which means place the, uh, the text automatically, I really want to have these columns in all my pages. So I'm going to go back to my master and go ahead and put it on the left side here. Actually, let me let me undo. Uh, yeah, okay, so I took them out of that document. I'm going to go back to my master. I'm going to add them back in. Two and 0.25. Okay, so now my both my left and right pages on my master are the same and both have columns. So I'm going to go back to my document. Now, um, all of my pages are based on the A master so they all have those two columns and now I can place my text and it will fill in this document and I'll show you that next. So let's close this so we can see all of, well no, actually let's leave it open because I want to see, you can see what happens when I apply the, t when I place the text how it'll fill in the pages. So what I'm going to do is a control D and I'm going to go ahead and pick that first chapter of Tess of the Dubervilles, which if you saw my other video, I talked about a lot. Um, and you can see now I have a place gun, uh, which actually has the words from the first chapter of Tess of the Dubervilles. And what I want to do is, if you can see right up at the upper right or left hand corner of the place gun, there's sort of an arrow and a little, looks like a little document. If you push the shift key you will see that the place that little area that looks like a document changes into a squiggly arrow line alright that is the auto flow icon so as long as you have your the shift key pressed you'll see that and if you do that you can click in a column and it will automatically fill in the rest of the uh, text into the document. So let's do that. 
And there you go. So now you can see um, it, it went on and went all the way into page four. It needed all that room. And I'll scroll down now. And that is chapter one. That's pretty cool. Now, what if your document had more text than you had pages already created? Well, I'm going to show you what happens. So now you can see I am on page six and seven right here, and I do have one more page here. Um, let's see what happens when I do the same thing. I've got chapter two of the book. I'm going to grab it. So now you see it's loaded. I'm going to click the shift key to get my auto flow. And I'm going to click into page, the first column on page six and see what happens. Now, I don't know if you could see that, but remember the last page we had was page nine. And now, I'm sorry, page eight. But we had just a little bit more text than we had room for. So InDesign created another page with the same layout. And you can see it's great because it even included the automatic numbering. So that always changes if you do that. Now this obviously would need some help. I kind of have my text over my page names. But I can adjust this as I need to. And you see as I do adjust it, um, the text over here changes. So it doesn't matter if you have, as long as you have the column set in one page, InDesign will automatically create new pages with that same layout, however many columns you have, um, as long as you're holding down the shift key for the auto flow when you place the text. So that's a really quick way to get your text into your document without having to create a bunch of text boxes. And now you can go in and do some other things. You can put in some images and use your text wrap. Uh, and, and it will all automatically adjust the text if you do those things.